Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and the third longest road trip in the history of Wofford Terrier football. About 1,500 miles from home, Wofford against the Wyoming Cowboys. No pushover. The Cowboys expected to finish second in the preseason poll in the Mountain West Conference. Would the Terriers have anything for them undermanned? Long trip, high altitude. Let's find out. Here are your highlights. Not a lot. Obviously, it needs to be said. You guys got me? I said my piece this morning, but the one thing I want to remind you guys of today, okay, just a couple of reminders. Number one, you got to take care of that football, right? You got to take care of the football. You take care of the football. If we're plus two on takeaways, you'll have a chance, an opportunity to win the football game. You guys got me? On defense, you guys fit the run fast. All right, you get downhill. Okay, you protect the play action pass stuff. Okay, you may like the, out, what you, the outcome here in about three hours. You got it on that? Sure. Okay. Picking game. Kicking placement, right, and coverage. Huge deal today, right? We know that. And then we got to finish drives, guys. You got to finish drives. What does that mean on defense? It means get your tail off on third down. All right, on offense, protect the football, score in the red zone. Okay? Have some emotion out there. Play for the guys in this room. Do what you guys do. Execute at a high level. Real simple. You guys good? Yes, sir. All right, let's go get after it. Okay, let's go get after it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's work. Up to the 10, as you saw, Tyler Vanderwall under 50% completion percentage. Make the handoff, slip one out, and not much there again as Jaira Wilson, the junior from Hartsville, South Carolina, makes the grab. Austin Conway again can't get away from him. Well, and they're, you know, right now they're trying to have these safe throws for, for Vanderwall. They want to make. Dropping back to pass. Looking on the near side, passes caught. Conway tried to get around a defender. He'll have the first down. Domo Lemon for the Terriers making the stop on Conway. Nice play by Vanderwall. Really job, a really good job by Tyler here. Not panicking in his own end zone. You can really see, kind of sticks that back foot in the ground here. You got a deep comeback to the wide side of the field. Nice over the top. Really a good spot, and that might be the throw that he needs to get himself in this offense. What Wyoming's doing here, they're still putting the ball in, in Vanderwall's hands, but they're not asking him to make too difficult to throws, too difficult to reads. He's thrown a couple of screens, a couple of nice throws to the sideline now, really getting himself going. Wyoming's version of the full house backfield, and Vanderwall is going to keep it himself on the read option. Michael Horton wide to the right. Vanderwall on third down, and it passes batted down by Jaira Wilson. And it's a fourth down again for the Cowboys, and they'll have to punt the ball away. And positives out of something like that, you're not punting inside your own five-yard line, I guess, but uh, ball knocked down. Vanderwall just couldn't get it over the arms of Wilson. Yeah, third and short, usually the defensive line. In 11 of their last 14 games heading into the season. Our first pass of the game, it is caught. It will be a first down as Blake Morgan forced out of bounds by Andrew Wingard, Cowboys 49. Newman up the middle. That's the fullback, Stoddard, and he'll have a first down. As he yeah, this, you don't want to let them get in this rhythm, especially the triple option teams. Normally, they they are kind of front runners. They're First and 10 at the 31, Austin Conway able to go. Oh boy, bad snap. Tyler Vanderwall gonna pick it up. If he can get outside the pocket, maybe try and throw one away. Vanderwall, now he's gonna get brought back inside the 10 yard line. Oh no. Seven, Stoddard takes the handoff. Tries to break one tackle, the ball came out. Ball came out, Cowboys have it, hand it off. There's Noodles, Antonio Hull tripped up inside the 10 yard line. Going back and forth, they're gonna roll out Vanderwell. He's looking for Ismail, throws it behind him and that one's almost picked off by Devin Watson, intended for Rocket Ismail. And the field goal team comes on, but dangerous pass. But if you're gonna miss, you've gotta miss outside as a quarterback. Cooper Roth on to attempt the basically extra point, 20 yarder, and that is good. Offered 28th in FCS and fourth down. Hand it off, oh, big play here. Wofford on the run, McAfee inside the 40. McAfee still on his feet, forced out of bounds. And a Newman looking to the sideline. We said Wyoming needed six uh, after the turnover. They're trying to stop 
Wofford from getting six. Stoddard right up the gut. Big hole. He's inside the five. Newman to Stoddard again. And the Cowboy defense coming in, making the stop. But Stoddard powering his way through, breaking tackles. And Andre Stoddard gives Wofford the lead. Touchdown, Terriers. Goal to go for the Cowboys at the six. First down in the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! This is the extension of the running game. Third and a yard. Stoddard will have the first down as he crosses the 35 to the 37. The third and one for the Terriers. Right up the middle. Big gainer. That is going to be Blake Morgan. He is on the loose. Morgan brought down. And you know it's coming. Sometimes you just can't stop it. Good blocking up front. Yeah. We, we talk about Wofford knowing their identity, knowing what they are. They know the third and nine. Vanderwall pressured and Vanderwall going to be brought down. Newman has the crowd into it again. He's looking to pass. Newman's pass is completed on the far side of the field. Jason Hill makes the grab, knocked out by Keon Blankenbaker. To throw the ball. He hasn't really tried to throw anything super long, you know, nothing extravagant, but he does a nice job of sticking his foot in the ground and throwing to your left like this on that out route is tough. At some point, you got to take a chance on the road. And with the way Wyoming's offense has played, they haven't been able to really move the football. Newman, quarterback keeper. Quarterback draw, he's got the first down across the 30, down to the 26. Logan Wilson finally stops him, but not before a seven-yard pickup by Newman and a first down. Well, it was great. Wyoming just 149 yards of total offense and a pass out to the flat. It's caught by Morgan. He'll have a first down near the 10-yard line. to 10 play clock down to two. Right up the middle they go with the fullback. I think that is Nathan Walker with the carry. And he is tripped up going through the line by Carl Granderson. Inside McAfee and Stoddard back there with Newman on third and one. And Newman, what a fake, going to keep it himself. Cowboys sold out on the edges to stop the run up the middle. And Joe Newman rumbles in from four yards out. Wofford takes the lead early on in the fourth quarter. Well, this is a fantastic fake. I think everyone in the stadium thought that he had handed this ball off. Rides that fake nicely. And really, Wyoming, you said it best, they had sold out. They were thinking third and short. And a half to go under center this time is... Vanderwell hands it off to Valade and tried to take it out wide instead of going, following his fullback, Jalen Watson, JoJo Tillery with the stop after a gain of one. Makes a nice run. Second down and two from the 16. Make the handoff, Valade, and Vanderwell hit and he's picked off. Oh boy, what a terrible break for the Cowboys. Weston Roundtree as Vanderwall pressured, two Cowboys are down. I think one of them might be Vanderwall. He gets up. Weston Roundtree, right in the middle, makes the pick. Well, this is a quarterback. It's one of the unfortunate things. You have no idea where that backside pressure is coming from here. And, and the this is what's more unfortunate as I believe any further, but Really uh, an unfortunate situation for Wyoming. They're going to elect not to use a timeout here. Not a timeout going up the middle again and a decent gain on first down by Blake Morgan. Newman, third and three. Right up the middle. Nope, he's going to keep it himself. Try and stretch out, and he's going to be dropped for no gain. Yeah, bad snap. Anything like that. Luke Carter. Maybe he doesn't have his glasses on this time. Yeah. Good snap. No pressure. Carter. Booms one over the head of Conway, and that will find the end zone for a touchback. So Wyoming's got to go 80 yards in a minute 59. Shotgun at the nine. Vanderwall looking for the wheel route. Not there. Looking over the middle. He's got Ismail. Touchdown, Cowboys! Rocket Ismail into the end zone. Shot. Yes, sir. Okay. In three, two. All right, here with Terrier head coach Josh Conklin. I, I've never been prouder to watch a football team play. How, how oh, yeah. would you assess the effort that your Terriers gave here at Wyoming today? 
Well, you know, I think all week we talked about coming out here and, and giving ourselves a chance to win the football game and talking about, you know, make sure you feel like you belong on the football field. And I think they came out and that's how they played. Um, you know, from a team standpoint, when you look at, we had some opportunities there to, in a four minute situation, to take the ball down and score it after a huge turnover. Uh, to get where we want to go as a program. And we talked about those are the things that we've got to do as a football program. And then in turn, defensively, uh, we got to get a stop in two minutes. And so the coach part of you, as far as the psychological, uh, you're really proud of the guys. I mean, they, they gave everything they had left on the field. Uh, the schematic part and the situational part, those are the things that you can get corrected. Uh, but we both know you can't coach effort, and, and they've got that. I, I know coaches are in tomorrow victories. So I'll use a different word, building blocks. Yeah. Something to build on. These guys know now that they can go toe and toe with some big boys. Right. How much will that pay off down the road? Well, I think as long as we learn the lesson and we make sure that we understand how close it was. And, you know, I told them after the game, you just don't have many opportunities like this. I mean, we went toe to toe with a good football team, uh, coached by really good coaches. And we had a chance to win at the end. And it's a play here or there on either side of the ball, even on special teams. We could have, you know, put on three or four yard line um, uh, in a sky kick situation. So uh, everybody's got things we can improve upon. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a lot of it. And when you start to go against in the playoffs, if we can get to that point, uh, yeah, it's, it's a huge deal for you if you can learn from these situations. Coach, is it good to have a bye week coming off a game like this? Because it, it does sting. Yeah. But you now got two weeks to to teach, maybe some guys can heal up a little bit, and then you kind of get into the beat of the schedule. Yeah, no, it, it will. It, it'll serve us well in terms of being able to, you know, get guys healthy. Um, you know, this is a physical football game, uh, and they threw it around, and uh, they're beat up. You know, they're hurt uh, because they expect to win that football game, and that's what we told them, and they, they came out and did that. So we'll get over it. Uh, we'll get back to work. I know they'll be excited to go watch the tape, as we will as coaches, uh, but I couldn't be more proud of a group of coaches, everybody involved in the program. Um, but in order for us to take it to that next level, this is what we got to do. we, we got to get a chance to win one of these games. Wow. This one will sting for a while. I don't know if any of these Terriers are into moral victories, but if any game can provide one, maybe this heartbreaking loss to Wyoming will do so. The Terriers have a chance to regroup an off week. We will see you next two weeks hence from this Saturday when Wofford hits the road again. This one a little bit closer to home to face the Bulldogs of Gardner-Webb. Thanks for watching Inside Wofford Football. I'm Jim Noble.